college. <laughs> and um, it's just it's just amazing what what it's like today, uh, the library and and the dorms and the campus and the buildings. I'm, I'm just a very proud alum of Georgia College and I will always uh, promote it and support it any way I can. And again, I'm, I'm just very humbled and grateful for this recognition. You are well deserving of it, Anne. Um, I know we have some people that are special to you on the meeting with us. So does anybody have anything they want to say to Anne uh, right about now? You're glad that I could figure this out so that it, so that we could have this. <laughs> Thanks to my help, my husband, who's my hero, who helped me. <laughs> Cassandra, you're muted right now. I'd just I like to say congratulations to Ann. I think that's just a great honor. We're real proud of you. Thank you, Mary Ann. Thank you. Ann, can you yeah. hear me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, I will say, Ann, that um, you are my truly, you're truly my second favorite roommate. <laughs> so when I gave, I gave you up, <laughs> I, I gave you up. When, Yes, you can say. We were roommates uh, our freshman and sophomore years, and then she found a better roommate, and she married him. <laughs> got married, and, and, and uh, we're still friends and uh, dear friends. So I'm glad you could be a part of this today, Sandra. Uh, it, it was an honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think you're a great representative of our class. Um, you and I always sat next to each other because our names fell. fell next yes, to each other. I remember that in chapel. It was we Lucy spent a lot two of time in chapel next to each other. Lucy two and me, mm -hmm. Ann Tuck, and Rosemary Turner. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Good memories. And I just wanted to say thank you for all you've done on behalf of the college. Um, uh, I think I, uh, I've been at Georgia College for nine years, and I think our relationship, uh, you were one of the first people that I went to visit. Um, oh, okay. With Susan Stewart, I remember that. Um, right. Yeah, and so it's been, um, it's been a, a wonderful experience in, to getting to know you and AJ and just wanted to thank you for your relationship with the university and allowing me to foster that uh, with you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you so much. Sure. It's been a great honor and pleasure to get to know you too. Hi, this is Fran Brown. Anne is my sister. And I want to say to you, sister, how proud I am of you. <laughs> and I just want to say to everyone, what a wonderful role model you have always been for me. I started out following in your footsteps. I was at Georgia College for my freshman and sophomore years before I transferred. And my experience at Georgia College was also a wonderful experience and I still have lifelong friends from my days there. So congratulations to you, Anne, for a well-deserved honor. Thank you, my sister. I'm glad you could tune in. <laughs> I wouldn't have missed it. Thank you. And Anne, do you have your award with you now? I do, I do. <laughs> Let's see, a beautiful silver bowl. And it says, I wrote this down because I, I can't see it very well in the inscription, but it's a beautiful inscription that said, has my name, Alumni Heritage Award 2020, in appreciation of your decades of service and 
and exemplifying the ideals and values of Georgia College. Isn't it pretty? Thank you. Definitely. And I, like I said before, appreciate everybody that could be here today. And again, congratulations to you and um, nobody else has anything else to say. I think we'll end our first day of a virtual alumni week on a high note. Troy, there's, there's a, so Ashley had a question. I saw a hand. Go ahead. Oh, oh no, maybe not. Maybe not. I think so. Is that Ashley Cronin? Yeah. Well, I saw a hand up on her um, that she was raising her hand. Ashley Cronin, I've just, uh, I, I, I haven't gotten to meet her yet, but I believe she is a young lady who has received a scholarship that I gave. Yeah. Yes. We've corresponded, but uh, I haven't had a chance to meet her. I have seen a picture of her and she's from Covington and I'm very proud of her because she has such definite um, goals for the future. She's, she wants to go to pharmacy school and right now she's working uh, part-time, I think, at a pharmacy. Ashley, I'm very proud of you and I hope we can get together soon and visit. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you too. Well, thank you. I'm so glad that, that you uh, are, are here for this presentation. And <laughs> that, that's great, Ashley. Thank you. I'm actually in the car. <laughs> I'm not touching my phone. I'm actually headed. Maybe we got you going in and out, Ashley. What? I'm sorry. Well, I really appreciate that. Thank you. We have someone, Colin McAllister. This is Sandra. Uh huh. It's Ann. This yes. is Sandra. We could never have figured out how to do that on our phone in the car. <laughs> we, <laughs> that would have been That's quite true. difficult for you and me. <laughs> yes, it would have, girl. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I think we got a new addition, uh, a Colin McAllister. Colin, you want to say anything? Or would you like to say anything? I don't know. Sorry, Ms. <laughs> so, hello, everybody. Hey. Colin, would you like to say anything to uh, Anne? Oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Colin. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. I'm just so proud of Georgia College. Proud to, proud to um, have been there in my years, and I'm so proud of the university that it is today. <laughs>